Joining me now from Houston, Texas, Republican strategist and owner-operator of the website GOP USA, Robert Eberly, Ph.D. Robert, when we look at the New Hampshire results, it bears a striking resemblance to the Vegas line right now. In Vegas, uh, Biden's a little bit higher on the, uh, on the chart, and also Vegas is including Michael Bloomberg. We'll get to him in just a moment. Bottom line, Bernie is the favorite. Buttigieg is a bit of an unknown. Biden is slipping. He's also slipping in Vegas as well. Democrat voters appear to be searching for anybody. And you can just see the bumper sticker being printed right now. Anybody who can beat Trump. And, and they don't know, I think, at this point, that any of the above can do it. No, they're in total disarray. And I appreciate being on the show, Graham. But to go back to your lead-in, it was just, it's hilarious when... Bernie Sanders talks about President Trump as the most dangerous person basically on the earth. Dangerous to whom? I mean, dangerous if you want a job, dangerous if you want un low unemployment, and on and on and on. Tr president Trump has done more for this economy than any president in my lifetime, and yet Bernie Sanders wants to tear that upside down. And the Democrats don't know what to do. I mean, I was watching the returns last night, and I was just cracking up because you have to know that the Democrat establishment, their heads are exploding. Their heads are exploding listening to all of this and seeing the returns, knowing that the voters out there right now are picking a socialist, just like you said. Right. They're picking a socialist, someone who will totally transform the economy, like he said, and take it away from all the gains that we've seen so far under President Trump. Yeah, this is not going by the Democrat script, that's for sure. The Democrat script has Joe Biden on it, and right now, Joe Biden is clearly floundering. Again, more on him in just a moment. But if you look at Bernie Sanders in 2016, it wasn't that long ago, okay, it was about four years ago, where he was almost laughed at. He was an asterisk. He was uh, a bit of an anecdote, if you will, during the campaign, and it was Hillary Clinton's coronation. But back then, it was pretty well known that he wasn't electable. Here we are four years later, and apparently X amount of voters among the Democrats believe he's actually electable. And I will say this, that if it is head-to-head, -head, Bernie Sanders versus Donald Trump, number one, Trump is going to slaughter Bernie Sanders. In the debates, it's going to be a blast if it happens, and I think the final on Election Day, it's not even going to be close. That's the good news. The bad news is, what does this say about X amount of the electorate, X amount of our society? A decent portion of the Democrat Party, obviously, would be a majority of the Democrat Party if he gets the nomination. What does that say about these people who are backing a guy who wants to destroy our free market and our constitutional republic? Right. It's, it's scary. It's scary when you think about it, because you go back to 2016, and you have a sizable group already emerging in the Democrat Party that are feeling the burn, that are just, they want full-on socialism. And now, four years later, you have the AOCs, you have the Rashida Tlaibs, you have the Ilhan Omars, and their, you know, poster child is Bernie Sanders. And when you see the exit polls coming out, they want someone, it's so, they're so messed up. They want someone that can beat President Trump, yet the vast majority want Medicare for all and right. free college tuition and all these socialist programs. You can't have it both ways. He will get wiped out by President Trump, yet the Democrat establishment, those who want Joe Biden, and we can talk about him, he's slipping. He's falling. They have no one to gravitate to next. There's a couple choices out there, but Bernie is the man right now. After two wins, you can't read a lot into those small states, yet it's our job to kind of read a lot into what's going on so far. And it's just, it's crazy out there. He's the front runner, and the Democrats are in total disarray. Interesting you bring up uh, the voters and, and why they're supporting uh, Bernie Sanders. Well, some of them support him because he wants to Hollandize the United States of America. I want you to listen to this carefully. The audio is kind of rough. Roll tape. Oh, she's got an accent. Clearly, she's from the Netherlands, and she's saying Holland's great. Right. But 
I think the most salient part of uh, her soundbite is a lot goes wrong in Holland, and that's exactly what the United States would be staring at here. Now, let's switch to Buttigieg, uh, who garnered, obviously, a, a lot of support. Buttigieg, the former mayor of a city whose population, by the way, you could fit inside the Rose Bowl. Um, you know, he's off to a good start, but in the end, I think he flames out rather quickly. Yeah, he's not ready for prime time. You see what happens, and I see this with my friends. We'll, we'll get together and they'll talk about Mayor Pete and how he sounds reasonable, yet when you look at his policies, he's as extreme as they come. He couldn't even answer basic questions on human life if it was okay to have an abortion when the woman is about to deliver or right after delivery. He couldn't even answer that. And yet on your clip, he's talking about how the, the horrors of children being ripped away from parents at the border. What about that child ripped out of his mother before he has a chance to even live? You know, Pete Buttigieg doesn't have a problem with that. He has a problem in the minority community. The other day he was talking about dark money. He said black money instead tries to shake it off, saying, yeah, I'll take your black money. He, he has no clue on how to interact with the minority community. He doesn't have a message there. He doesn't have a message that sells, that really sells when you examine it. It's just as extreme as the others. And I totally agree, Graham, that, yeah, as soon as he's pressed, he's going to fade. Speaking of flaming out, here's Elizabeth Warren on uh, election night, New Hampshire. Roll tape. Senator Sanders and Mayor Buttigieg are both great people, and either one of them would be a far better president than Donald Trump. I respect them both. Now, she doesn't sound like a candidate there. She sounds more like no. you or I, uh, Bobby. She doesn't sound like she's right. in this anymore. And so maybe right. the, the writing's on the wall with Elizabeth Warren. Obviously, you know, she should have done well in a state. One would think that uh, buttresses up against the state that she's from, her home state in, in Massachusetts, did not happen. So she's got to scramble and be the comeback kid real quick or it's over. Oh, absolutely. I think the main thing that's keeping her in now is pride because, like you said, I mean, New Hampshire is just to the north of Massachusetts. The problem with her is this, this block of voters that we've talked about, this extreme left, there were two candidates that were really proposing the Medicare for all and some of these big socialist extreme policies, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren. The voters have kind of chosen that of those two, we're going to choose Bernie Sanders. That leaves her out. You know, the Democrat establishment, they're going to try and search for a moderate alternative to Bernie. But Elizabeth Warren is another Bernie. So if they're picking him, She's out. The writing is on the wall, and she did not sound good yesterday. And Sanders' message, you know, as much as I oppose his policies and his message, his message is crystal clear. As for Joe Biden, I'm still searching for his message along with his campaign. It's rather murky, but then again, I think so are his chances of winning the nomination. Bobby, thanks. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.